Copying and pasting in DaVinci Resolve can be quite frustrating, especially if you're trying to copy and paste between different tracks. I'm going to show you how to do that in this video, along with loads of other copying and pasting tips. Copying and pasting on the same track is really easy. Select the clip, hit Ctrl C on the keyboard, move the playhead to where you want to paste and hit Ctrl V and it will paste onto the same track that you copied it from. Just delete that. What happens though if you wanted to actually paste it in between these two clips? If I hit Ctrl C to copy and then hit Ctrl V, watch what happens to the green clip. Half of it gets cut off. Just going to undo that. If you want to actually insert the copy between these two clips, you can either come up to the edit menu and choose paste insert or use the keyboard shortcut Ctrl Shift V. Watch what happens now. Notice this time the green clip moved along to make space for the pasted orange clip. Just going to undo that. Another quick way to create a copy of a clip is to first select it and then hold down Alt on the keyboard and then drag the clip. This will create a copy of it that you can drag around where you want. Also, you can drag this up to move it to different tracks, such as creating some B-roll between these cuts. So the Alt and Drag method to create a copy is really useful, but what happens if, for example, the clip that you want to copy is right at the end of the timeline here? You're going to have to hold down Alt and drag it to create the copy and keep moving your mouse across and find the spot you want, and quite often things are going to move around too quickly and it's going to be a real pain. Instead, what you can do is find the clip and either right click and choose copy or use the keyboard shortcut Control C to create a copy and then navigate to where you actually want to paste things. Now, if I hit Control V now, it's going to paste it onto video and audio track one and it's going to overwrite some of this green clip, which we don't want. So I'm just going to hit Control Z to undo that. If you want to copy a clip, but paste it onto a different audio and video track, you could use what's called auto track selectors. Notice that auto track selectors are all enabled at the minute because they're there, this light gray or white color. Say we wanted to paste that clip to video track two and also to audio track two. Just setting these track selectors is not actually going to do anything when it comes to copying and pasting. If I hit control V now, we still have the same problem. Just undo that. These track selectors only affect where media gets inserted to when you insert it or drag it from the source viewer or maybe the media pool. They don't affect copy and paste operations. Copy and paste operations are affected, however, by these auto track selectors. In our case, we want to paste the video to video track two. So I'm going to hold down Alt and click this auto track selector button for video track two. And by doing that, notice video track one auto track selector has been disabled, as has the auto track selector for video track three. Basically holding down Alt and clicking one of these auto track selectors will toggle that on and toggle all of the others off. We can do the same thing for the audio tracks. I'm going to Alt click on this auto track selector for audio track two. And now if I hit Control V on the keyboard, we get the clip pasted to the tracks that have the auto track selector enabled. If you want to reset all of these, you can hold down Shift and click and click again and do the same for the audio tracks. Just going to delete that. I'm going to go back to the end of the timeline here, select this orange clip and use Control C to copy it and then head back to the start here. This time I'm going to click in the timeline and hit I on the keyboard to select an in point and then hit O on the keyboard to select an out point. I'm going to Alt click on track two and also audio two and then hit Control V. Notice this time we've only pasted the length of the clip that corresponded to the in and out points we'd set. Just going to shift click on these auto track selectors to re-enable them for all tracks. If you do want to use these track targeters to determine where things get pasted, there's kind of a workaround for it. So I've selected video two and audio two for the track selectors. I'm going to go back to our clip and I'm going to hold down alt and double click it. This is going to do a couple of things. First of all, it opens the clip up in the media pool, but we can just close the media pool. But secondly, it's going to add the in and out points that correspond to the in and out points in the timeline for the clip. So if I just move this to the in point that was automatically set, you can see that these two match up. This is what's in the timeline. This is what's in the clip. Because we've got this in and out point set that matches this in and out point of this clip, we can effectively now use these track targeting selectors because this is open in the source viewer. Once again, I'm going to move the playhead here, but this time rather than using Control V to paste it, we can just go and insert this as we would ordinarily. In this case, I'm just going to hit F10 on the keyboard to do an overwrite insert. You can see because we've got these tracks targeted that it's pasted the clip onto video track two and audio track two. The disadvantage of this though is it's lost the clip color because the clip color was set to orange inside the timeline and not in the media bin. If you really want to learn DaVinci Resolve, check out this playlist. There's loads of videos I've put together for you to help you out. I'm Jason Roberts. Please subscribe and hopefully I'll see you in the next video.